city of mine How I love, how I love the city of mine It never gets me down City of mine How I love, how I love the city of mine It never gets me down, yeah What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video Today I am bringing it back old school and doing a calorie challenge. But I'm gonna keep to my recent theme of eating only local foods and I'm gonna add on to that by doing only breakfast foods as well. So I of course had to start my day with donuts because you guys know I love donuts. It's like my hidden weakness. So I headed over to Casual Friday Donuts who has a new location in the valley. You may remember I've been there in the past but they were like, way far away, closer to where I used to live, but kind of far away, and they are the only folks who carry cronuts. Anyway, the place is super cute, awesome. The staff there was phenomenal this morning, but we are going to get this 10,000 calorie challenge underway with some delicious donuts, and of course, starting with a cronut. Before we get started, let me remember to show you the time. I haven't done this in forever, so if I forget to show you the time on a meal, I am so sorry. It is 7.41 a.m. on May 19th, boom skis. Without further delay, let's get into a cronut. First off, they call them the mother of all donuts here, but they have a nice crispy outside. And then it has this beautiful like salted caramel, like I have no idea what it is glaze. It's delicious. Cheers to the first bite of this epic, epic calorie challenge. That is ridiculous. Look at that cross section. Yum. This is gonna be a good day. You guys know I love breakfast foods. All foods. Beautiful chew to it. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. It's like if a yeasted donut and a croissant made beautiful, delicious, sweet babies. Mm. Final bite of Cronut One. Mm. Little black coffee. Okay, next, the donut I was the most excited for, the Circus Animal Cookie Donut. These were my favorite cookies as a kid and combine that with being on a donut. Is this even breakfast or is it dessert? It's so darn cute. Cheers. That's what's up. I'm so happy these guys are in the valley now, but of course, when I'm moving. Mm. That is divine. And these things are massive, by the way. But I'm sure you could tell that. These make Amy's donuts look small. I haven't been to casual Friday donuts since I had my old school, like, faux hawk short brown hair. This is a beautiful thing. Final bite of Circus Animal Donut. Nine out of 10. Black coffee just hits when you're eating donuts. All right, next up, the true measure of a good donut place is their blueberry donut. Blueberry cake, just simple, sweet, to the point. So let's give this a try. Oh my gosh. You don't even have to chew on this thing. It's like, I like bit into it kind of aggressively and it just like melted in my mouth before I even chewed it. That is perfection. Casual Friday donuts, y'all. That, wow. Mm. I didn't know that anything could beat my Dunkin' Donuts blueberry donut experience. I thought that that was kind of like the greatest of all time as like a quick drive-through donut. Oh, this hands down. 
Wow. Mm. These are so messy, I'm glad I decided to bring them home <laughs> and not eat in the car. Just three wee little donuts to go. Next up, we do have the Samoa donut, which is of course themed after the famous Girl Scout cookie. This thing is of course massive as well. Eclipses my face. <laughs> so hopefully this brings me back to campfire days and just good old summer fun. Let's give it a shot. Oh, that is a Samoa cookie, wow. Super fresh coconut, perfect chocolate frosting. Mm, that is exquisite. I recommend this. I actually recommend all these donuts, especially if you wanna like share with a friend. If you were to split all these in half, that'd be like a perfect breakfast feast. All I've gotta say is look out Amy's Donuts, you've got some competition. And I hate to do that because I'm a dedicated Amy's fan, but this is top notch. Mm. Oh my gosh. I have frosting everywhere, like all over my floor. <laughs> I have to do some cleaning after this. Okay, next up we have the Maple Frosted Sprinkle Donut. This thing just sung to me. They had all sorts of other crazy flavors as well, but this just seemed spectacular. I love a good maple donut. And this one was just like massive and obviously covered in sprinkles, so can't go wrong. Here we go. Ooh, that maple flavor. Mmm. That is spectacular. That tastes like a full-on pancake breakfast, but with crunch. Wow, that is awesome. On to the final donut mother of all donuts, and I agree, to end this spectacular breakfast one of many today. I might already be well on my way to 10,000 calories. This was a huge breakfast, but I will, of course, calculate it for sure and have it pop up on the screen before the next meal. But here we go. Cheers to y'all. Let's finish up this cronut, and I will catch you guys at the next meal. So I am at Conley's place, which is one of my favorite places ever for breakfast here in the valley. I normally come here with my grandma, and this time I decided to order the full traditional Irish breakfast, along with two of their famous Indian fry bread style scones. I am super excited and looking forward to this. This is a massive, massive helping, and this will put me way on my way to the 10,000 calories of breakfast locally for the day. Very excited for that. It also comes with a little side here of of OJ and a cute little flute, but without further delay, let's dig in. It has only been a couple of hours. It is 9.54 a.m. First order of business is to break in to the eggs, and it is my favorite thing to do. Eggs over easy. Perfect for dipping the rasher of bacon, the sausage, and the bread in. Mm. That was cooked perfectly. Can't wait. Got a bite of egg, bite of bacon. That is money. They always do a great job here at Conley's Place, which speaks volumes because it doesn't even need ketchup. Let's try this banger. <laughs> 
Mmm, that is well spiced. That is really lovely. Mmm, has a very herby taste. That is in fact a beautiful sausage. I normally order the hearty Irishman when I'm here, but I wanted to try the traditional Irish breakfast because this is an Irish place. I think a little tomato. Mm. Makes me feel international. I'm gonna move some of this bread over so I can get to the potato. Put the egg on the potato. That is necessary. Mm. They also give you a sausage patty. So you get bacon, a sausage patty, and then also the banger. So here's like the sausage patty. Mm. That's flavorful as well. And this is a massive portion. Even my eyes got wide when it got brought out. Now it's time to bust out the ketchup. Mm, that is what's up. They use Hunt's ketchup instead of Heinz here, but I'll forgive them. Elevated. I'm pretty sure traditionally the tomatoes would be stewed, but I don't mind them cold. Is lovely. It's so nostalgic just eating here. Like I said, I always come here with my grandma. So it feels very homey. There are so many potatoes on this thing. Darn near looks like a food challenge. Mm. It's just potato. <laughs> no shortage of carbs here. More ketchup. Since it's all breakfast foods, I kind of have to be done early in the day anyway, because places stop serving breakfast. I'll probably use all these carbs to get in a crazy training session. I might ride like a 50K later on my stationary bike. It'll be my first time. How's everything tasting? Amazing. You this like is that impeccable. One? Oh yeah, I love it. Really yeah, good potato. He had a bacon and he had a banger mm -hmm. sausage. And that part was amazing. I really liked the sausage. Very well seasoned. Oh good. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. Not a problem. So nice. A little OJ. It's cute that it's included with the back of breakfast. All right, while it is nice and fresh and warm, I do want to try some of this scone. These are crazy. Covered in cinnamon sugar. I had to try it. Indian fry bread. I've had their apple turnovers before, but those are like a special item. Ooh, yeah, these are still really hot. This feels like a funnel cake, sort of. Ooh. No, this really is like Indian fry bread. More like, like you know, Navajo fry bread if you've been to like New Mexico. That was amazing. I don't think anything could beat their apple turnover, but this is pretty good. That is perfection. And they serve it with honey and butter as well, but I think it's fine on its own. Mm. Try one bite with some butter. Just dip it in there. Give a big old gob of it. Okay, that's a good move. <laughs> wow, these are huge. I watch YouTube all the time with different. I usually just listen to music. Oh, okay. And like something different I can watch. Mm, mm hmm. Because it's free. Yeah, it is. I do the same thing. Man, these things are massive. <laughs> mm. Might be a little longer than I thought before. We'll call it 11 C's. Like a hobbit. Got first breakfast, second breakfast, 11 C's, tea. Dunk it in some coffee. All right, let's try some of the toast next. You get a piece of sourdough and then a slice of whatever one of your choice. I went with the rye. Really nice looking, very generously buttered. Let's try it. Mm. 
I love the flavor of rye bread. I don't know what the right word is. Kind of like a nutty taste. I love it. Mop up some of the egg juice on the plate here. That's the perfect bite. Egg juice and rye. <laughs> I was thinking that 10,000 calories wasn't gonna be much of a challenge for me, but after being on a diet, I can honestly title this 10,000 calorie challenge and not feel bad about it at all. I'm already riding the struggle bus on meal two. <laughs> Finish up the first scone. Okay, well, I'm gonna call this meal there. Save room for the final breakfast. This was already a ton of calories, so I'm well on my way to where I need to be. Those fry bread scones are huge. Let me finish this, OJ. All right, that was a fantastic second breakfast here at Conley's place in the Valley. Absolutely amazing. I think roughly it's gonna end up being over 20 bucks, probably 20, 25 bucks. And then the donuts this morning were just shy of 20. So really reasonable so far. Next up, I'm probably gonna take to go. This was delicious, but don't wanna have to worry about copyright again. So I will catch you guys either in the car or at my place for 11 Z's. And I'll show you guys the calories in just a moment. See you there. y'all so it has been just a little bit of time since breakfast number two and I had to stop at the stupid cow cafe now I've heard like a ton of really really good things about this place it's literally like just a random like house barn looking thing on the side of the road but I've heard they have phenomenal breakfast and judging by what I have in front of me people ain't wrong so <laughs> I'm really looking forward to discovering if these guys are good or not it smells amazing but it has been a couple hours, hour and a half or so. Oh wait, no, that's more, I'm bad at math. <laughs> it's been like two and a half hours, it's 12.30. And yeah, it is time to eat breakfast three, some 11 Z's. I was hoping to be done before noon, but round two, that packed a punch. But if my calculations are correct, this should put me right at the 10,000 calorie mark. I'm really looking forward to digging into this. First, I want to start with this insane breakfast sandwich that I got. This is their croissant and egg and sausage breakfast sandwich. And let me tell you, this thing is massive and loaded with cheese. Not only is there cheese in it, there is cheese on it. It is like just towering. Oh my goodness. And it's like got their tater rounds stuck to it. Egg is everywhere. Oh my goodness. I don't even look at this bad boy. Like I know I got some slick B-roll of it, but this thing is huge. Let me prove it to you with this bite I'm about to take. Cheers. Oh wow. That cheese has cheese. Like there's cheese in the cheese. Mmm. Now that is comfort food. They hand make their sausage patties there and that's all cut up into the scrambled egg. Mmm. The croissant is pure, buttery, cheesy perfection. It's light and flaky. Oh my goodness. And in all reality, I could have eaten in there. I was worried there would be like copyright music so I didn't really plan for it. Mmm. There's like the tiniest, cutest little cafe. Owner was super sweet. Mm. That is phenomenal. The edge of the croissant is like crisp. Mm. Mm. 
that is lovely. And it was ready so fast. They were like, I don't know, not far down the road from me. Maybe five minutes, if that. She said, oh, it'll be ready in 15. So I kind of took my time, moseyed out the door, got there, food was ready. Now for these famous tater gems, or tater, no, tater rounds, excuse me. Dig into some of these. A little bit of ketchup, of course. Apparently they are known for these tater rounds, and I can see why. And I love that I have the added benefit of they're stuck together with some of that cheese from the sandwich. Ketchup. That was beautiful. Mm. I'm glad I ended up choosing this place because I've heard all the amazing things about it. It's so close to my house, apartment, whatever. And what sold me, they have French toast sticks. So their French toast sticks are served as four pieces of their French toast cut up into three strips. So there's 12 French toast sticks here. Costs like $8.95, which is a freaking good deal if you consider what you get at like, where serves this? Burger King? Let's try. Oh, oh, that's good. There's like powdered sugar on it, seasoned with vanilla and cinnamon. Look at that texture. Yeah, this is what sold me on going to Stupid Cow Cafe. Oh, <laughs> and when your order is ready, a cow moves loudly. <laughs> Super cute. By the way, I should note, these French toast sticks are not eggy tasting at all, which is something that kind of turns me off to normal French toast is that it can be kind of eggy. This is just like crispy. <laughs> Perfection. Beautiful. Mix it up with some savory. Tater round. This is delicious. I am like so happy. Next thing I want to dig into is the biscuits and gravy, which honestly doesn't look too appetizing, but does biscuits and gravy ever look appetizing when it comes out? This is like served in like the paper, like wrapper things hook. <laughs> Just, it doesn't look cute, but by the smell of it, it's gonna be delicious. So a side order of biscuits and gravy here. Really looking forward to digging into this. Oh, oh, that tastes like the deep south kind of biscuits and gravy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mm, y'all, that, wow, that is good gravy. I am picky about my white gravy. Look at the texture. I'm using my left hand for this. And that gravy, just that thickness. Oh, you're in Spokane. If you're even thinking about driving to Spokane, stop at the stupid cow cafe. I guess they're also opening another location in Hayden, Idaho soon. You know stuff is good when I'm pretty full for the day. And it is really hitting home. Nice spice to it too. That's what reminds me of the South so much. It really kind of slaps ya. Ooh, you know what might be good? Some of this extra gravy on the sandwich. Ooh, this is gonna be a money bite. Cheers. <laughs> I just got a cheese pull on a breakfast sandwich, y'all. <laughs> Let's try a bite with ketchup. It's good any way you want it. Pick your poison. Hmm. Hmm. Now, this did cost a bit more than I was expecting it to. Granted, they do upcharge for to-go orders, just a couple bucks. And the French toast sticks aren't considered like a side item. It's like basically like a full price menu item. So everything all together was just shy of $32 for the biscuits and gravy, the 12 French toast sticks, the sandwich and the tater gems, tater rounds, excuse me. Which isn't bad because realistically this could feed two people, no problem. And that's not a bad deal for breakfast. But what a fun day. Y'all know breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. And if I was gonna do like a silly calorie challenge, I wanted it to be foods that I enjoyed, but to also highlight some local Spokane eats, obviously. 
So, what a day it's been. Mm. That was too good. Those were amazing. Let's get back to these French toast sticks. Mm. Let me know in the comments down below if you're on team breakfast with me, because I just love it. Clearly. <laughs> ah, big decision. Do I want to end on a sweet or a savory note? I think I want to end on a sweet note. Finish up these tater rounds. Got it right the first time. I am more than satisfied and full. And let me tell you, this is still my favorite meal of the day so far. And I love donuts. I gotta tell my mom about this place. Sad moment, final tater round. Hmm. All right, well again, this was a really fun day. Zero complaints. Love breakfast foods. This should, as mentioned, put me just above the 10,000 calorie mark. I will have the total macros just pop up for you right now. I'm gonna finish these couple of bites. Mm. So, cheers to you all for watching. Thank you so much. Mm. I had a lovely time. If you haven't already, do me a big favor. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, slam the thumbs up. Let me know if you'd like to see any other future themed 10,000 calorie challenges, because I had a blasty blast. So thank you guys again so much for watching. And until the next video, okay, peace out, bye.